Taylor Swift's 12 UK No. 1 albums tie Madonna's record. With the worldwide hit The Tortured Poets Department, Taylor Swift achieved her 12th chart topper, tying Madonna for the record for most female artists with No. 1 albums in the UK. It's her third chart doubling single and her fourth No. 1 single. The Tortured Poets Department outsold the remaining top 10 combined with 207,000 chart sales, a figure that includes both streams and purchases. This is the UK's highest opening week of sales in seven years, since Ed Sheeran's Divided By in 2017. The only musicians with more no. One hits are Bruce Springsteen, The Rolling Stones, Robbie Williams and Elvis Presley. The Beatles have the most, with 16. Still, no performer has achieved 12 no. One hits as quickly as Swift did. In 11 years and 6 months, she achieved it, a significant amount faster than The Beatles, who had to wait until 1977's The Beatles at Hollywood Bowl to achieve their 12th. Since 2020, she has achieved eight no, one singles, in part because of her project to re-record her albums from a disastrous deal with her former label, Big Machine. The 31-track, two-hour double album, The Tortured Poets Department, features songs that scathingly critique her recent relationships with singer Maddie Healy and actor Joe Alwyn, has solidified Swift's status as the biggest music star of the century. It broke records for the most albums streamed in a single day on Spotify and became the album with the fastest billion stream completion rate. Swift's songs accounted for 22 of the top 50 globally streamed songs on Thursday. Swift broke the weekly record after selling 700,000 vinyl copies of the Tortured Poets Department in the US in just three days of release. The fact that Swift sold almost 10% of the approximately 1 million vinyl albums that were sold in the U.S. in 2023, most notably her album Midnights, makes that figure especially astounding. The remainder of the U.K. chart is rather weak. But Hosier, the number one single last week, outsells a few of Swift's songs and comes in at number two. Sabrina Carpenter, Swift's recent tour supporter, climbs to no. Five with her upbeat espresso, which is currently the second most streamed song worldwide on Spotify. With Dark Matter, Pearl Jam earns their 10th UK Top 10 album and joint highest ranking in the album chart, coming in at number two. With their album UB45, UB40 reaches their highest position since 1994 at number 5. After spending its 1040 twinned week in the UK charts, Fleetwood Mac's Rumors jumps up to no. 9 thanks to a special record store day release. Now that TTPD is available, Swift is focusing on the upcoming portion of her era's tour. She will start the European leg on May 9 with four nights in Paris, having wrapped up the Asia and Australia leg with six nights at Singapore's National Stadium in March. Eras will make their UK debut on June 7 at Murrayfield Stadium in Edinburgh. Later, they will play eight dates at Wembley Stadium, matching a record set by Take That. By the end of 2023, Eras had already made over $1 billion in revenue, according to data from US live music analysts Paul Starr. By the end of the tour in December, they are expected to have made over $2 billion, easily surpassing the previous record of $939 million set by Elton John's farewell tour. Fans are anticipating her re-recorded version of her 2017 album Reputation, which has no set release date, and are likely to see her score her 13th No. 1 album as early as 2024.